All right, time to start up chapter three. I really need to play the other games. I made the mistake of watching, uh, watching before you buy, before playing this, or after playing this already, and they they pretty much just shit on it. Saying that's like the worst one yet, so or or whatever. Oh well. Jesus. The frame is atrocious. Time to turn something off. Um, okay, so I guess I will just... I think that's probably causing that ray tracing, so I'll just probably turn that off and it should be no worse than it was yesterday. I'm still getting like 50 frames. This is so fucking stupid. Why is behavior's optimization so bad? Like, it's actually disappointing. What a complete and utter disaster! Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh. Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Oh, wow. Golf? So dramatic. <laughs> I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. <laughs> That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby he and tell me all about this whole serial that we killer saved business. From the, the the I know industry. some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell, yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an yes. hour ago? That's the yes. theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who are the victims? What do you think he was up to? Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? That way you need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. Well, we might get some butts in seats, or but, like... Her, I mean. What if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. 
Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too? Damn. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to growl me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an They're incredible like job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. OK. What do you need from me? Um. Well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing but That's what she just said. need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. Now she's How much do you need? For our favor in return. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how now. much camera repairs cost these Fucking days. Inflation. Seriously. We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Yep. All right. It's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. Oh my god, the frame drops. <laughs> You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I need to upgrade just, uh, my computer. What is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone I could- I try something. I don't think it'll work, but it's worth a shot. Ah, uh, let's just- let's... Oh no, that just resets everything to default. Oh shit, yeah, that reset everything to default, damn it. Uh, medium. Oh, on. And then let's just put this up to 60. At any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey! Think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. There's still some what? drops, but... What about there? Doesn't look as bad. I thought bad. that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that <coughs> near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Let's try the curiosity shop. Why not? I certainly am 
curious regarding said shop, eh? Gross. Yes, I get it. Lead the way. You chose to try the curiosity stop a store first. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Yeah, the frame drops are just as bad when it switches scenes. That's so fucking disgusting. Now, behavior sucks. Uh, like, I know I it's not behavior because they're just publishing. I have something that may interest but... you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Wow. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I'm sorry that I keep doing this. Maybe I'll edit it. Probably not, because I just want it to be one long, unedited, un undoctored video. Let's just... Let's lo yeah, low's the, the lowest. So I'll just go low and keep it at 60, I guess. And, and, no, maybe this one... Oh, where did I put all and there's the... still frame drops. Like this is oh, fucking this terrible. This actually is atrocious. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's nutty Ned uh, necks. All relevant legal paper work has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end my client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships if there is any lesson to be drawn from this is that fire theft and casualty are not things that only happen to other people hopefully moving on from cedar hills will give you some distance from the bere bereavement after all time is after all time is a great healer and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat so a cat died in a house fire respectfully our streaker the store recently passed into the hands of a new owner let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there what's the next move we got everything we need to finish this sucker well except the Locked door. Ooh, a crow. I know it's just a crow, but that seems like it's like a sort of a reference to the crows that spawn around the map of Dead by Daylight. Smiley face to That's not a Legion reference, is it? Because I seem to remember a smiley face being a thing, uh, being something that has to do with them. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Damn. Okay, I think I'll move on to the next section of the game then. Unless there's a collector's, ooh, a, a TV. Who would want to watch this creep fest? There's an item over there to grab as well. Okay, I 
Okay, so it's a, a film reel. Oh yeah, the trapper. <laughs> Smiling successor that, right? of the Macmillan estate. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know I could do that with the other ones. That's cool. Can I do that with the other ones that I found? Do they even show up? I don't know. Oh, okay. So only some of them have it. Yeah, I, I know that the top one I'm missing is... Um, the hillbilly because I, I didn't realize I missed one until I watched Faze Judd's video last night. Okay, yeah, it's gonna bother me that these have exclamation points, so I'm gonna go over them. All right. Oh, let's talk to you. Let's talk to you. What do you say? Oh, okay. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like, so bummed. <laughs> You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Oh, yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. This is gonna be the thing that opens like the portal or whatever. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? $20. 20 bucks. She said not to waste the 20, okay. so. Sure. May as well not haggle it down. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Fate changed. You accepted the storekeeper's price. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Oh, I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? I'll just mess with my girlfriend back. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Best Love Buried, the dark mythology of the lost movie by Joe Blue. There are those films that have been lost over time, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. 
These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel at the performance of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Is there, oh, this is back. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's disappearance. The most persistent in which of that is the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean. One never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Perhaps there, are really, there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film stars for its own twisted machinations. Machinations. However you pronounce that. Is he supposed to be like a reference to James Dean? Yeah, it's supposed to be a reference to James Dean, which is cool if that is the case. Alright. There it is. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, another piece. Waterlogged shoe. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. Four names, so that's probably a reference to Dead by Daylight as well. Oh, right. I forgot I was supposed to be looking for milk in the first place. <laughs> Missing Another Benny miss Baker. Angie. Missing. I hope they're found. 240480. So the 24th of April, 1980, I assume. From Garfield. Hair brown. Eyes brown. Height 4'6. Weight 65 pounds. If you can identify this missing youth, please call Cedar Hills Sheriff's Department Missing Persons. 3645550142. I kind of want to know if that is a real number because. A lot of games or even movies and TV shows do real numbers and that's like an automated voice message. Like, that's really cool. I'm not going to find out. I'll probably just Google it later. <laughs> but I don't want to end up randomly calling a random American number from Canada. And then having some normal person pick. <gasps> Can I play this? Oh, yeah, that's sick. I'm I like this. Fucking Space Invaders, this is sick. This is so- Oh no! That wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't really paying attention if I'm being honest. Damn, I missed. Is that a ghost face ship? That looks like a ghost face alien. Or at least supposed to be. Can you stop dodging me? Oh, I hit the thing in the back. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm done with that. Maybe we'll come back just to get a high score. That'd be really cool. Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. 
So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, oh. we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Is this Robert <sighs> Green? Yeah, okay. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, oh, Dad. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. I want to be provocative, yeah. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Got to be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. Hell yeah, especially in 2024. You ready? Take care. I would love for them to turn all these Supermassive hey, games hey, into hey, TV shows or movies. I feel I like they get would you back into the mill so much better. Knowing. I think they would work a lot Just better than the, the game. Let's make a movie. <laughs> oh, shit. Going against his better judgment. That's not good. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Chapter four. I didn't read it, but I took a screenshot so I could use it as a thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, mm. Actually, no. Compassionate. Are you okay? Uh, 
Yeah, guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, uh, what happened to evil. Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants to well, only know about the face, he's of it, he just talks like <laughs> such a up. big douchebag. <sighs> Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm good here. I want to dismiss that. I... I think I'm good here. You're lost. Talk to Maddie. Oh. Is there anything I can pick up here first? So, uh, Murder Mill? I'm guessing it's not a romantic comedy. <coughs> Years back. Ooh, what's this? Oh. I already read that last time. Never mind. I don't need to open it. Why, why is it forcing me to open it? Uh, it? Does it turn to a different page? No. Would've been cool if it turned to a different page, depending on who you're playing as. That would've been nice, but... Whatever. I'll pick one up. Oh. A bolt for some reason. Okay, talk. Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't going to follow through on her uh, offers? Cynical it seems too good to be true. Dubious, don't get your hopes up. does seem too good to be true. Never trust an offer until the money's in the bank, figuratively speaking, especially if it seems too good to be true. Oh, come on, not everyone's trying to outmaneuver everyone else all the time. They are in my business. Well, show business is not real life. Real life is overrated. Maybe, but it's the only life I got. Only if you believe that. Maddie disapproves of your cynicism. Wow. I don't wanna. What door did he go through that one? Why don't we go look around together? Unless you wanna stay here by yourself? Okay. Oh, 
Never thought your little Maddie Bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. What were you shouting about? Look at this place! You should shoot when your movie's here. Why? Because it's cool as hell! We might as well take a look around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Ooh. Huh. I opened something. Now that was a curious sound. I want to know his name, though. Thanks! It's Italian. Archibald well, Macmillan. I got a cheek from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy. And that's well also opened. got me the blazer, which is like a I super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> oh my god, shut the fuck up, Stan. Do you want to know a secret? <laughs> sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh, you can be sure of that. Oh, security cameras. Well, hello. It's like everywhere Augustine has else. interest in temporal. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. That should have been a question you asked a while ago, um, but whatever. <laughs> well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, <sighs> what was your mom's name? Was it Chris? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Bonnie. Yeah, it. <gasps> oh, shit! How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um. I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. I want to know who the other mom is Bright. that she's talking about. Touching. That sounded so insincere. Comforting. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. Maddie appreciates <sighs> your comforting words. Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. <gasps> And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? Oh, my God. This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? A spot in your next hill. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Ah, oh, he's such a dick. Cool statue. Oh, the hillbilly. Hmm, missing a piece, though. That tells me that I have to find a piece wow. that fits in it. Whoa. Well, I actually Quite saw a, a video piece. of this during a part Look of this journey. Yeah. Work. It's beautiful. During the before you buy. 
The Face of Evil, the true story of Frank Stone, told by the man who stopped him. Sam Sheriff Green Floyd took down Cusick. Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. That fateful night, I had sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first sh uh, choice. The flatfoot was from out of state and, and a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd step into the fiery depths of hell itself. And there was stone standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle. A tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. Uh, death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost. So I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. Fucking liar. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold for a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I knew firsthand that he acted alone. Saw with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar, Hill Cedar Hills. <laughs> So he's just a stone-faced liar, okay. Is there any more? No, okay, that's all I can read, okay. Just I should check on Maddie. Okay. There's suspicions that Frank Stone may have an accomplice. Yeah? Okay. Ooh, now what this? would you do if it was you here instead of me? Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> it's like it opens with a key. Climbing the wall looking for a way out. What's in here? Oh, that's the, uh... Not yeah, for all the people, for all years. the No way. Augustine has a, uh... And I can't go further. Collection. Can't go further. I've never seen bars. anything like this stuff. I'll leave that message later. Um... Did I have to talk to someone? Yeah. You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking to someone special? What? I, um, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, Bonnie? Perhaps? I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? There's something I never told anyone else. It's not a good idea to dwell on the past. Not nostalgic is the way to go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. 
Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. That is grateful to hear the memory. Look. What? I don't see anything. Right there. Oh my god, there's someone out there. Oh shit. They might be after the film strips. Augustine expected something like this. If this block gets any thicker. <laughs> anyway, serious. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Maddie doesn't appreciate your suspicions. Right, um, so do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right, so if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Professor X looking ass. Phantom of Cedar Hills. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. The fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. You find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? <laughs> I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Right on time. You gotta keep it down. Let's go excited right on time. Hey, right on time! Time to get cooking! <sighs> what? Nothing, nothing. Just... Try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No. Tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, Gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm... I'm honored. You wanna... 
Wear the stripes, you gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Subdued. Guess not. Uneasy. Stone victim. Stone's victims are real people. Yeah, let's go with that. Because facts. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. You're right, you're missing the point. You're missing the point, yeah. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? I may, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris, I don't like um, now. he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding. Obviously. Obviously. Robert and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to Stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. Chris's fixation on Frank Stone worries you. Take here. Why don't you start with these? Tom Holt. So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frankstone. The mill's a pretty huge place. I'm mad at it. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Uh, let's go into this one. I'm sure no one is sad to see it go. End of an era. Cedar Steel Mill is permanently closed. Here, August 24th, 1967. Mill projections Cedar dire for mill. fall season. It Once mentions Frank. No, but it goes into the mindset heartbeat. of the workers. Of People were depressed. Is to be per there was permanently suicides. closed after at over 40 years of Not almost continuous at the mill, operation. But like, he founded by Howard there Kinsey Tester in 1921. Damn. The mill in so the a year or two Can before the shut up Chris? started. Does trying to read not here. sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour the shift. The there it's are a couple articles like this. Heyday. The mill was in serious high decline. High quality steel but if it that doesn't was mention Frank, across the nation. I don't know. Mr. Tester's it's legacy it's was honored by his daughter Morgan in a statement that given on him. Monday morning. Uh, so the way Morgan he was or, or why he did what he did or the mill something. Had been taken That's your expert out of respect opinion? To the memories it's just a hunch. Murdered on his premises by former employee Stone. Not everyone is convinced by his justification, though. Or however. And this one? Well, unless you sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. Oh, what's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders. And the Secrets little killer stone. Oh, good thinking. Come to light, September 16th, 1963. 
as Cedar Hills tries to make sense of recent events at the Cedar, Cedar Steel Mill, mill more, uh, more disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandal, 36-year-old uh, machinist Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who you're, our own Sheriff Kusick is linking with multiple unsolved disappearances over the last three years, has been described by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Most sh shocking are the growing rumors that Stone was taken on by Cedar St Steel and its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. Frank Stone committed several murders prior to the Wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone, 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 Stone stuff. There's so much. I may remember your lines, please. Murder fucking mill rocks. There's good light inside the film. This shot. Uh. There's good light inside to film uh, this shot. Okay. No more edits. Let's go film. Hi, May. I can't believe mom's I'm finally in the getting out. Hospital called. Mom will be I can't home wait. Sunday. Bond XX. Will he? Won't he? Wait. Will he? Won't he? Nah, he's dead big time. And this is the thing that will. Yep. Oh shit. I don't reckon I ever will again. That's Heck, cool. I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. Oracle of the Omniverse. Guru Connor Barnum. Do you feel trapped? Are you living your life or merely surviving it? Does the universe satisfy you or are you see left seeking a deeper Sam truth Green. beyond this reality? Anybody By harnessing the deep knowledge within this book gleaned by Guru Barnum. From his studies of the, those tribes closest to enlightenment, you too can assimilate the wisdom of ancient design and emerge from the cocoon of ignorance or soar on wings of cosmic bliss like a butterfly of enlightenment. It was through my own practices learnt from Thanks my journeys to the American you know, interior that I successfully ele wow. elevated my consciousness to the point that. I was able to visualize the Hills, the one when beyond the, whole the whole veil cast. of our reality. This little town seemed so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless other ways. To give one example, the Calhern family still owned the drugstore. But the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Here he was in healthy mo middle age, a season of life I knew he had never reached. I drew two conclusions. Far out. I drew two conclusions from my meditative voyage. One that ver uh, every journey through life offers almost incalculable variation, and while he we may each have only finite possibilities on our own journeys. There may be other journeys taken by mirror versions of ourselves that visit all destinations. Two, the di different two, the different planes of reality are not so much separate but rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries flowing to a single vast ocean of experience and possibility. To explore this further idea, we must consider some. And that's it. Okay. A book claiming there are multiple versions of people. Okay, cool. <laughs> Didn't read it quick enough. Um, do I have to talk to them now? Or? No? Is there other things that I didn't quite get a glimpse at? Mm. 
No, okay. I feel like I'm missing something. What the heck? Oh, wait. Oh, no, I was just examining that. And I can't take the tape back out of that. Oh, didn't mean press that. What is that? Oh, okay, both of them do the same thing. Um. Both of those. What am I missing? I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us. Or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks, me too. Oh, yes! Huh? What is it's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? OK, people. Company room! Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. I can't believe I just got one FPS. Ladies and gentlemen, the scene. I present the mill. The mill.
Yep. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right, this way. Is there anything over here to pick up? RPGs have taught me to always check where you spawn. Nothing. Zilch, okay. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Franks don't actually kill. Okay. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? I'm gonna climb. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay, we just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. Dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing Ooh. killed a friendly I'll conversation how to get working in there. someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I have to go around. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran oh, for right the 10th there. anniversary. Had a cool title, though. What was the title? The man who drew blood from a stone. Damn. Mother daughter. Ring. I mean, it could make a good title. She says she has found the root of evil, the source uh, of the rock corroded in the town. Movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. All right, so I think that's like my fourth collectible out of 12 for those anyway. It's my dad. Everybody hide. Anyone there? Ugh, getting too old for this. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. Wouldn't be surprised if he says that and then... It's just not true. <laughs> frame drops. This game is so fucking poorly optimized, it's crazy. 
This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! Uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. Oh my god, the frames, it's actually so painful. <laughs> I thought this was like my computer issues, but Phase Jev normally has like four, three to four hundred frames in most games. And we then must he's be playing, the he's having now. like 80 or 90. Just gotta find so like, a way This game is just poorly optimized. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was. Ooh. Who would have left this here? The specter that stalks the fog. Nice. I might not go out of my way in 100% this game, to be honest. Get all the collectibles. I think I don't know if I'm going the right way or if the way that I'm not sure about Linda's new scene but if I pull the director card I'll probably never talked to huh well okay Casting shed. All right. So I'm assuming. Better get back to Robert. Key for this. No. No. Okay, it doesn't do there. Oh. Didn't get a clip. Oh, there we go. Stop getting stuck on things, oh my god. Okay, so, when I was little and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? There was... One time. Anything for me to when I was little, pick up? Not was really. Really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. 
He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Oh, is it just the same? Or like my dad. Things repeating. Got to see him the way he really is. Okay, so yeah, I got that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Why or like it, my dad. Why is it just repeating the same? Got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real oh, bad. That? Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just I said look at something. He saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. Last chance to turn back. I think this is it. Up there. atrocious kind of want to know if I limited that to 30 frames if it will oh thank goodness oh, yes that, that Robert look. you're a genius let's check something actually yeah let's try that I want to go medium quality and frames down to uh, 30 On the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. It just won't Come be on, us. people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. And it still does the frame drops regardless. Wow. Is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's Thirty doesn't a look too bad. Wrap though, on Murderville. Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> Just bringing a little premature with the face sucking. We still have one more scene. No, <laughs> let's do the disproving. You don't think you're being a little premature with the face sucking? I just wrapped my first movie. I can celebrate however I want. But we're not technically wrapped. Huh? We still have one more scene to shoot. Wait, you're what's annoyed the last scene? Forgot your scene. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Yeah, the game actually looks better at medium with 30 FPS. It's huh? not as fluid motion, but yo, what can you do with the computer? Coming? That's the generation old. Uh, yeah, be right there. Oh, craft my neck. Did you see something? No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, right? Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. That's a great. Not cool. <laughs> that was what a great you delivery. Doing? I think that was. A... I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. 
Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? I don't care if she takes a long. Bonnie's gonna be do what Bonnie's gonna do. Let's go with familiar. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Find the door to the furnace chamber. Oh, it's all the way over there. Am I able to get over there like right now, or do I have to like go around? I don't want to do that just in case it locks me out of getting that collectible. I have no choice though, because it looks like it's inside. I might have locked myself out of that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. No, yeah, it's just this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know. It's different. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think that's the one that. Get to it. I think I need No, stop it. Go this way. Locked, okay. I think in order to access that, because I have to move it, I think I need a uh, a crank to move it. See if I can find that crank before talking to them, though. What's up here? There we go. That's what I'm looking for.
Here we go. <clears throat> there we go. Blighted rat. Five names I've taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Trying to found eight of twelve. Eight of twelve. Oh, that's all I'm gonna do. Artifacts. The blueprints. Okay, so I missed one right before the face of evil. I missed one in between these. Which means that there was one. Oh, yeah, okay. And fate. Just Chris's. Why does it say 8 of 12 though when I've only got the 4 of those? I don't know. Oh, before I message talk to you, I just want to see it one last time. Oh yeah. Oh, it's because I missed 3. Shit. Because it's the eighth one out of the twelve. Damn. That's unfortunate. And I thought I was doing really good. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready, sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> and cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound in Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? I mean, it was perfect. You were good. No, I think it was pretty good. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. <laughs> It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. <laughs> Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? 
You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Shit. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. If we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. Huh. That did it. Okay, let me get more. Oh. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Door will take us to the machine shop. Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Oh, Don't you think it's weird, weird how there. obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I'm definitely not. I don't even think he wants to be helped. I have to. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's How more like an obsession, up? and it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No. I guess I'll just do that then. 
because I don't really want to figure out how to do that. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Gotta be a way to get up there. All right. Look way up to the train. Look for a way up to the train. Sorry. I just can't read, apparently. Oh shit, generator. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way then. No, I'll do it impatient. I don't want to accuse him of anything. All right, look. The truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Oh, give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah, unfortunately it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Something useful in there. Oh, 
aqui. Find some parts. Yeah, looks like it needs power. Follow the cord. Pressure sure the cord just leads to the uh, thing. Oh, okay. No choice for using. A key or anything. <clears throat> what was that? Nothing? Okay. Has the generator coming? Uh, oh yeah. Find anything? We've still got to power up that door to get it open. How's that generator coming? Uh, oh yeah. I'm on it. Hey, maybe we should just forget about fixing the generator. Huh? See that big roller door over there? Yeah. It should lead us right back outside. What? Right now? Yeah. Why not? I don't want to go anywhere until I've gotten a better look inside that thing. I really don't know how we're going to get up into it. See that box car? Yeah. If we could get into that, then up onto its roof, there's like a railing there. A gantry. Yeah. It goes right across to the freight wagon. the key so I need to get inside there to grab the key for it <clears throat> but in order to do that I need to fix the generator I think this might work with the generator find parts to repair yeah okay so the cord did just fall here okay Where, oh, where is the second part? Could help with the generator. There we go. Press the wrong button. <laughs> I'm used to playing the actual game. <laughs> I'm really bad at hitting the great skill check, damn. Nice job. Thanks.
Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Actually, before I do that, let's look around a little bit first. The door's locked. Oh. Push it over here then. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. up the box car. All right. Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. See if the key unlocks the box. Call. She's a little too obsessed. Up. Still need to go up. Seems sketchy at all. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Shoot. Thanks, man. You're lucky I'm more quick on the draw than this guy. Yeah, there's a reason Jaime never made starter on our football team. Yeah, coach was a jerk. You keep telling yourself that, bud. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. That was on me, I wasn't paying attention. Didn't expect this cool check. Oh, just a hand oh, in the jar. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Damn! Is... is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> Damn. This... is insane! Mill rights, notebook. Cedar Steel Corporation Machine Shops and Repair, Cedar Hills, Oregon, Log MS815. Who are these other people? Parker D, no, want to get close. Feel feel of every blow, hear their screams. Kessler E, this time makes it last, or this time make it last. Better control for the next small cuts, keep clean, taste their fear.
creature forged to purge the world. Use what I hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut and fix. And that's it. A hatch. This must be how stone got in and out. Cal I guess the cops never connected by Frank Stone to this. Police. Monday, September 17th, 1962. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Cusick last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhoun and Joyce Barton at Hogline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. George Calhoun, 28, son of Cedar Hills, respected drugstore proprietor William Calhoun and his friend Joyce Barton died after this car, uh, their car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been wondering tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock for us all, coming as soon in the wake of the July so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay, but is it in that episode when Mrs. Clay's nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a, rape, a rapid investigation by Sheriff Cusick, we must all we must all hope and pray for a swift and just, just outcome. I don't want to examine that, I want to examine the hatch because references. Must have come loose from the freight broke through. Actually, am I able to examine the hatch? No, I can't, okay. Yeah, I already examined that, now I examine this, this jar. That is a head. Is oh! Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims there. Powder. Powder. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. Very true. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. But it's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? <sighs> we should get the hell out of here. Yes, yes, we should. We gotta go. Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. You can't move that. Apprehensive is moving that such a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been like, obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. So? So it doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. It feels like it's your movie. We're making this movie together. It doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. 
Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second alone. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Let's... I started going out with you because you were really fun, and making this movie was really fun. But this... This isn't very fun anymore. So... What are you saying? I'm saying if we're not having fun anymore, maybe we shouldn't be in a relationship anymore. Oh, shit. Well, I don't really have to work. I'm not going to change your mind. Hopeful. Chris, I know it's been a little rough lately. I'm, I'm sorry. If I've been a little anxious and stuff, I'm just, I want our relationship to work, you know? I know it can work. <laughs> so, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, special shit's gonna happen. The crazy shit's about to happen now. Ooh, big stretch. Huh? What? I don't know. Stone. Looks like it's gonna be Frank Stone because he's missing the jaw. Oh, so I just killed him. I killed Jaime. All right. I think that is where I will end it for this game for this time. That was it. That was fun. All right. See you next time.